society in it. You really ought to read it and be informed. It's Terry. interesting that, that, that so many conservatives haven't seen this because decades ago we were told that infiltrating education was the way to take over the country. Well, Should have been on alert. They, they gained it. I mean, these guys are, are out and out communists. They are radicals. They are killers. And uh, they are propagandists of the first order and they don't want anybody else except them. That's why Regent University, for example, is so terrifically important and why we're setting up an undergraduate program that hopefully will see shortly 10,000 students and then from there 250,000 because you don't want your child to be brainwashed by these radicals. You just don't want it to happen. Not only brainwashed, but beat up. They beat these people up, cower them into submission. <sighs> We got John in Melbourne, Florida. What the Bible says is that there is a standard. The standard doesn't begin and end where we choose. The standard goes beyond that. I yeah. think that none of us achieve it. So we can't sit there and reject the Bible. I mean, yes, we can. The claim you mentioned. Well, in fact, killing killing somebody that is admittedly innocent in order to compensate for the crime of someone else did. No, that's what I just but said. people talking about Jesus. 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 Oh, okay. To slaughter an innocent person and say, well, that's just recompense for, for the crap you did, that's not moral either. Plus, it's absurd, this idea of blood sacrifice. It is. How I, in the world does bleeding make somebody that did I mean, something wrong all of a sudden not? Even if it's true, and there is a God, and he's judging people by some standard, I find it morally repugnant and reprehensible, and I want nothing to do with it. It's that I'm so freaking offended and pissed off that there are people out there who take this fairy tale and make excuses for it and say that this is something good that people should be applying to their lives or that we should make 2010 the year of the Bible. Anybody who would advocate that person X deserves to be tortured forever in hell or annihilated simply because they could not believe something for which there was insufficient evidence, while some other credulous numbskull can go out and kill and murder and rape and have a deathbed. That is not justice. It is not. And those who don't believe the, uh, the unbelievable are somehow punished. But if that's the way the system absolutely works, then my assessment is that it is immoral. And, and, I, and I'm, I'm baffled by people who could claim that it's moral. And yet people like you, what you do is you say, God is God. He can judge you. What a lame-ass excuse is that? If my dad beat me when I didn't do anything wrong, and your answer was, well, he's your dad. He gets to beat you. You're a dick. Just to be clear, I am not agnostic. I am an atheist. I don't think there's no God. I know there's no God. And I know most of the world knows that as well. They just won't admit it because there's another thing they know. They know they're going to die. And if you bring it up, they get angry because it freaks them out. From about the age of eight on, maybe younger, they lie to themselves and they create a God. And then they go through life and then a loved one dies and tragedy strikes and whatever happens and it's all his being. And guys like me get yelled at for telling the truth. Please. I don't believe in God any more than I believe in anything else that doesn't exist. So shoot me. And they quite possibly could because they're that freaked out about their fairy tale and protecting their lie. Now the other part is, is people want to know, well, where do I get my evidence? What made me an atheist? Nothing makes you an atheist. Not having a weird religious retarded dogma funneled up your ass as a young person, that's what makes you an atheist. Nothing makes you an atheist. Having a brain, being able to use deductive reasoning, that's what makes you an atheist. It's not something made me an atheist. Nothing. Religion doesn't make sense to people who didn't get it shoved into them early or who didn't kill a guy and have to deal with it while they're waiting uh, on death row. So it doesn't make sense to smart people. How many people in jail are atheists? How many wars have been fought by atheists? I want people who can think for themselves. I want people who don't steal because it's wrong. I don't want you to kill because it's wrong. I don't want you to cheat because it's wrong. And don't give me this retarded, oh, who's to say if it's right or wrong? If Really? I have deductive reasoning. I have brain cells to rub together.
Yeah, but I, I wonder what created you. What? <laughs> Jeffrey, nothing created me. So, so you're an atheist. Lord, oh God Almighty, you are my rock. Praise the Lord. I, I love, love you, God. God. Would you people please just shut the fuck up? That's all you ever do is praise and worship. I mean, what makes you people think that I'm so insecure that I need this stream of compliments constantly bombarding me? A actually, God, it's the Bible. The, the Bible makes you seem pretty insecure. Well, well, I'm going to put an end to that once and for all. And from now on, only atheists are allowed in heaven. And all you fucking people can just burn in hell. No, no, God. <laughs> Heaven. You've got to it be exists. kidding. It's real. Welcome to heaven. Why, why are the only two options eternal bliss or eternal torment? I mean, wouldn't it be fair to have some kind of middle ground for people who aren't that bad? If that's divine justice, I'm a little girl with pigtails called Emily. Look, Doctor, I sacrificed my son. No, a single crucifixion is not the same as burning forever. You didn't sacrifice Jesus by burning him forever. So why are everybody else subject to that fate? Look, I'm not burning anybody. They put themselves there. Why didn't you provide some evidence, some reason to believe you exist? What's the point in hiding? Right. Wouldn't you have made more of an impression on your followers if you were evidently real and obviously present? So that your words wouldn't be altered, manipulated, and corrupted through political editing and mistranslation? Exactly. Why would you have unreasonable gullibility as your only criteria for redemption? Yeah, you know, you didn't think hiding yourself was so important during biblical times. Uh, look, showing myself would affect free will. Uh, no, don't you no, I see. free will shit. So you conceal every hint of yourself from any possible detection, and you put up an impressive smokescreen in the form of an obvious, elegant, unified, and seemingly accurate natural explanation for everything you secretly did. But if we didn't find your set of primitive, perverse, and frankly unbelievable fairy tales convincing enough to discard reason and disregard everything we know about anything at all, then you were going to punish us forever, without mercy, for eternity, on the crime of not being stupid enough to believe impossible nonsense nonsense for no good reason. The bottom line is we can't have a relationship with someone who has people tortured or has the power to instantly stop people being tortured but simply chooses not to. Uh, uh, well, I, actually, uh, uh, I he's starting to get it. Uh, if, if, wasn't there something in the Constitution, I, I don't know everything, I'm still studying, but isn't there something about the separation of church and state? So therefore... We got rid of that. All right, right. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe that the, the, the elected officials would try and practice that themselves then, no. maybe on a uh, separation no, no, of church and state. No, no, no. no. To, to, get, to even win a nomination in this country, you have to say you're a person of great faith. The Mormons preach that the only way a black man could get into heaven was as a slave. That's right. Well, <laughs> Brigham Young said that race mixing should be punishable by death. Right. Look, I think you can find... <laughs> I don't know enough about Mormonism. I just told you. But... <laughs> I will guarantee you, I will guarantee okay. you that you can find objectionable beliefs Things that seem to strain credulity in That's in what? Islam. It's my original Judaism, point to you. Yes, Christianity. They're all Mormonism. crazy. Clifton, you there? Yes. How you doing? How you doing? It is. You don't have to see God to know it's evident. The evidence is outside of what you're looking at. As man, as so man being the smartest, as man being the smartest animal on earth, and there's some things that we may, and there's some things that we could make it all, and something. Okay. Being more well, being than a man, though. Well, let me. So let me go ahead and we'll, right there. Well, we'll okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'll. I can. Um, I can de decipher that. But yeah, let me. Uh, let me. Uh, 